another morning clearing the woods so the road is that direction there any of the drivers over here and this is the woods alongside the road the drive and our lawn so Mark's got the tractor out and uh, we're just clearing away all the wood Something coming out of the woods. I think it might be Barbara with another tree. Seems like we've done this for days and days. Well, we have in over a period of time. It's looking there though. Yeah, it's looking very good now. It'll make the wood store very full. It will certainly help the wood store. <laughs> the drive looks good. We're, uh, or rather I am getting a bit desperate for a decent beer. So, Christmas in mind, Barbara bought me, before we left the UK, a couple of brewing kits. This one, Tinsel Toes, Woodford's, and uh, Woodford's Nog. So, being Christmas, and Tinsel is a Christmas beer, um, I'm now going to start to brew. So what I've got is a brewing barrel, which I've just uh, it's got water in it. I've just had Camden tablets in it to uh, sterilise it. And I've got my brewing bits and bobs. So I've got my hydrometer and uh, thermometer, my brew belt, and all that sort of stuff. The cans of malt are in a bath of warm water, just to loosen them up a little bit. So once they've warmed up, I'll put them in the bucket. And then I need to add six pints of uh, boiling water and then another 34 pints of cold water. So let's see how we get on. Right, they've been in the water for five minutes now. The kettle is boiling away in the background. I'm now going to take these out. I don't know the moment, but I'll take these, open them up and put them into the brewing barrel. So. I've got in there. Okay, here we go. Pop a tree for like. Okay, trying to steam you up. That's uh, three pints of boiling water in there with the, the malt extract. Right, that's had its uh, six pints of boiling water in there. Um, so in total, it's come to about 10 pints with the brew mixture as well. Um, it's now got to have the cold water added to bring it up to the 40 pint mark. And then we've got to leave the stand for a, a few days. Just had a delivery of 30 30 solar panels. That's quite a lump. Uh, the delivery driver had a bit of a job. He only had a little electric pallet truck to get it off the back of the lorry. So it has been dumped here. These boxes 
I've discovered hold 31 panel solar panels. So they've taken one out and sent the rest. So now all I've got to do is take them out of the box and put them into the barn until such time as I uh, start installing them. It's Friday morning and uh, it's a very exciting morning. We've got a big delivery just come and it's the uh, pile of boxes here. Fantastic, that's all the blinds for the house, all the electronic shutters. So they're gonna go up on this side of the house. So this is the side that gets all the weather and all the ones that are up there presently are um, originals and they're hanging off, I'll show you. So the blinds on this side are of varying ages. So yeah, they should fold round like this and have catches. Um, some of them have catches, some of them have repairs on them that holds it back. This one's had repairs on it. Um, but it is an original one. Up there would have had them too, but it's been taken off and had the Juliet bank balcony put in. This one's already been taken off and an electric blind put in its place. Um, that's in the kitchen. And we were going to take it down and put traditional ones up, but the problem is to close these shutters, which you have to close them in the winter to keep the cold off the windows. The windows are so thin, you have to have the shutters closed front and back. So outside shutters and inside shutters. Um, but to close them in the evening, you have to open the windows to shut the outside shutters. So in the stable, I've just brought in all our new shutters. So they're all stacked in here. We also have three toilets, three showers, three shower trays, 30 solar panels and fitting equipment. Um, so this is our store of, of of equipment to, to be installed so we, we've got pretty much everything here now oh and there's two baths as well look <laughs> forgot about those yeah so everything's pretty much here now so we we just need to get on and do it which is funny enough struggle for time <laughs> but uh, we'll get there very exciting we've got Envelopes just been signed for at the door and inside something quite uh, card-like. It's very exciting if it's what we think it is. A photograph of me. Oh yes. Oh well, that'll be our Cut to It means we are officially residents of France. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cut to sejour. Don't focus on that photograph. <laughs> that's, that's, taken you were... <laughs> that's taken when I was um, a little bit chunkier. <laughs> when you were 17 stone yeah. and you lost, what, three and a half? Yeah, nearly four stone now. Yeah. So, yeah, we are officially residents of France. Woohoo!